Mistakes, I know I made a few, but I'm only human. You make mistakes too. I'm crying. Ooh. Y'all remember that? A lot of y'all, y'all wasn't even born. Let me stop. Let me quit. A lot of y'all. But some of y'all out there know what I'm talking about. Let me know if you hear me. Uh, okay, listen. Y'all ever thought about where this come from? This right here. Our niggas. Our niggas was very happy until you came down and stirred them up. Our niggas know their place. Our niggas know what we want them to do. And our niggas do it. How many of y'all heard that before? <laughs> and the reason why is because niggas keep, because we can't really tell you how we feel because we already know you're going to bust us out or you're going to tear our ass out the frame. So a lot of us have risked our lives because we can't bite our tongue. And a lot of us have bit our tongues so much that blood is trickling down the sides of our lips and we just can't keep it in no more. But in spite of all that, some of y'all walk away with the impression that myths that slaves are happy. And Negroes, no matter what we do to them, they just have such a positive attitude. Because they got no choice. They really want to mess you up. But they can't. They already know the backlash would be too great. <laughs> but let me tell y'all something. You won't have to kill that spirit of fear. In order to do anything, the, the spirit of fear has got to die. Because this is a myth. Myth of happy slaves. Okay. Now listen to this. Contrary to myths promoted by pro-slavery forces, historical records indicate that blacks were anything but happy-go-lucky slaves. The happy slave myth was fabricated to suggest that slavery was a natural state for blacks who had no interest in overthrowing their white masters. There were claims that blacks had a genetic internal disposition that made them ideally suited to be slaves. To ensure that the reality was always consistent with the myth, the dominant society maintained laws, public policies, and social customs that labeled blacks apathetic, but punished them for being aggressive and assertive. That equated them to animals, then mocked them for imitating white society. They called them poor and ignorant and then denied them the fruits of their labor and educational opportunities. Now tell me how psychotic the, the person over them have to be. In order to inflict this much madness on somebody, how mad do you have to be? There go that one there go that one percent. There go that narcissism. Okay? The hypocrisy. Oh Lord and argued that blacks should remain with their own kind while enacting fugitive slave laws that prevented blacks from running away from white enslavement, enslavement to join their own people. If nothing else refuted the happy slave myth, the hundreds of attempted slave revolts, poisonings, and other acts of rebellions against white masters surely did. Here's a notable quote. If a landowner cheated or beat his black tenants, that is his business. If a black is a victim of white violence, he must have done something to deserve it. Above all, the black must be kept in his place. Y'all gotta wake up. This is this 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 society 
has never changed on us. Their expectations, their mistreatment of us. Oh, it might have got, um, you know, circumvented to some degrees. But, y'all hear that? Wake up. Wake up. You sleeping giant. 